In today's video, I am going to go over the basics of 3D navigation in Revit. Before we get started, if you are new, my name is Melissa. I am the real BIM lady. I have spent most of my career working with residential architecture, training, managing, and developing content and processes for architects to improve their workflow and efficiency. I will be posting a new video every week, so subscribe to my channel to get the latest and the greatest. So let's get started. I have a model open currently, and the first thing I wanna go over with you is 3D navigation. So on my quick access toolbar here up at the top, I'll find the 3D default view, which is this little house, and click on it once. And that opens my 3D view. Over on the right here, we have a set of tools for orbiting around zooming navigation. But before I get into that, the easiest way and the, the most efficient way is what I use all the time is I hold down the shift key and on your mouse, the scroll button, the wheel, you can hold that down at the same time and you can orbit around. To make that even a little bit easier, you can select an element. I'll select this light fixture and then you can do the same thing. Hold down the shift key and the mouse wheel button, and it uses that as an axis to rotate around. So if you have a really big model or a really big project and you wanna rotate around one element, sometimes it makes it a little bit easier. So over on the top right of this screen, we have a bunch of 3D tools. And I'm not gonna go over all of them because there's a lot, but I'm gonna urge you to really dive deep and go into this because I have found that some people use Revit for years and years and years and they don't know some of these tools exist. And some of them are really pretty cool. So I'm gonna fly through some of these, but be sure to go back through them yourself. So the first thing I'm gonna go over is the view cube. That is this cube up here at the top right. This is really quick and easy, so you can just click to the view that you want and it'll rotate to that view. It's really pretty easy. <clears throat> There's also some buttons right here that depending on what version is, if they're gonna be there or not that you're working in. This is Revit 2021. So that kind of goes up and down or left and right. I don't know that I've ever really had to use those, but they're there in case you do. The next thing is the navigation bar, which is this thing below the view cube. Sometimes this navigation bar gets X'd out of and disappears. There is a shortcut to it, but to get it back, you wanna to go to your view tab. Over on the right, the user interface dropdown, and then you can click on navigation bar and it'll be back. So we have three options here. We have the navigation wheel, we have some zoom commands, and then we have a fly through command. So I'm gonna go over this navigation wheel. If you click it once, this navigation wheel comes up. You can just see it kind of hovers over where the mouse is. So I'm not clicking on anything in the mouse right now. So in order to use this, you want to hover your mouse over the tool that you want, click your left mouse key button and hold, and then it activates that tool. I'll try orbit. The only time I've, I've really gotten into, into using this view cube is when I was on a laptop and I didn't have a mouse. It's really hard to work in Revit without a mouse. And so um, if you find yourself having to navigate without a mouse, this is the easiest way to do it. <laughs> there's also some options in this navigation wheel. So there's a little drop down there I clicked and there's all sorts of things. And so I suggest you go through these on your own and just figure out how it works. So I press escape to get out of that. Let's say you find yourself way zoomed out or in a funky spot. There is a, a little house right here that's a home button. You can click on that and it brings your drawing back up to the home position, which this is the default home position. You can change it if you want and I'll show you how. But if you, but this is pretty handy to use, just kind of get yourself back to square one and start over navigating. 
So you can also right click on this home button and you have a lot of really cool options. The first thing I wanna show you and get excited about because architects love this one is the difference between perspective view and orthographic view. By default, Revit's an orthographic. And so changing it to perspective makes it a little bit easier to tell and is kind of more used to how the eye and how architects are used to drawing it. It's a lot easier to tell when you're in a, when you have a really large project. This one isn't easy to tell really the difference, but that option's there and architects love it. The other thing I wanna go over is Orient to view and orient to direction. These are really great tools. Orient to direction, you can set up an or isometric view. Which I use a lot to set up stair drawings, 3D stair drawings and 3D fireplace drawings. It makes it really easy to set that drawing up and to put on your documents along with plan view, section views, and elevation views. You can also orient to view. And this one's kind of neat. If you have a view set up in your model, you can orient to that view. So for example, I have two sections set up. I'm going to go to one of the sections. And what it does is it puts a wireframe, wireframe section box and cuts the 3D view where I have that section cut. So I can actually go through and orbit around, which is really cool. It makes it really fast to kind of see what you're doing and what you're looking at. And then to get, go back to the default 3D view, I need to get rid of this box. So over in the view properties, I'm gonna scroll down and this section box here, I'm simply gonna check it off and I'll go back to my 3D view. So that's the basics of navigating in this 3D view Thanks for watching.